Yo, what's up guys? Hope all is well. Welcome to a $1,400 pool PC build guide. If you've never built a PC before, you've come to the right place, I got you. So we're gonna break this video down into three different parts. First, we're gonna go over all the parts we're using for this build, and I'm gonna show you guys how to build it step by step. Second, we're gonna install our Windows 10 operating system and all the drivers we need, including games. And then last at the very end, that's when we're gonna put our system to the test against a lot of current popular titles. Our goal with this build is to play games at 240 FPS for those 240 Hertz monitors. And this PC we're building here today is going to do just that. So pretty much everything's going to be covered. Here we go. First, we're going to jump into our parts. So for our graphics card, we will open the NVIDIA RTX 3060. It's going to have us play all popular titles at 240 FPS. All right, moving on to our CPU. For our CPU, we're going Intel 11th generation. This is the i5-11400. It ran us $176 on Amazon. It's a six core CPU and it has a 4.4 gigahertz boost. This i5 comes with a stock heatsink. So so we're gonna save some bucks on the cooling. So we're gonna pair our Intel i5 with our MSI motherboard. This is using the B560 chipset. It's the ATX form factor. So this guy right here ran us 136 bucks. This board looks awesome. I really love the colors on it. Three M.2 slots, which means it supports three SSDs, USB ports for days, a type C, and an optical audio port. Our motherboard is ATX form factor. It calls for an ATX case. The NZXT H510 Airflow. This case is beautiful, high quality. So the theme, right? It's pretty obvious now we're going with a grumpy bear theme and that's why we picked up this sick grumpy bear funko i spray painted this case guys took it fully apart and i threw some stickers on it so let's go over it so we have the six bears and we got a care bears logo up in there it was easy to do it looks nice i printed out two images of old care bear comics give it that cool little retro look there's a lot of wisdom going on in this case because there's a nice little message at the top of the case it says do your best Wise words. Take a look inside the case. Put a little cloud shooting star rainbow sticker right there. Another Care Bear logo down there. Okay, well, that's the case. All right, guys, the juice of the build is an EVGA gold rated power supply, 650 watts, reliable power supply. For our RAM, a white Corsair Vengeance RGB kit, 3600 megahertz is what this kit's rated at, and we're rocking 16 gigs. For our storage, a 500 gigabyte M.2 SSD by Western Digital. So, total cost of this system is 1379 USD. So, under our budget, actually. All right, guys, so let's jump right into the build. First, we're going to be working with our CPU and our motherboard. So we're gonna get the lever of our CPU socket and push it all the way up. So if we take a look at our i5, there's a golden arrow on the bottom left-hand side of it, really tiny arrow. If we take a look at our CPU socket, there's a circle on the bottom left-hand side of the socket. So we're gonna line up the arrow with the circle on the socket, and then we're just gonna let it drop right in and it'll fall right into place. You never wanna get the CPU and force it in by pushing because then you could bend the pins and that'll cause damage, definitely something we don't wanna do. So if we were to fail, for example, like drop it in and then there, oh, it didn't go in, it's fine. Just pick it up again, line it up, let it fall into place just like that, cool. Get the lever all the way back down. Don't be scared, guys, you're not gonna break anything. And then boom. So our Intel heatsink already has pre-applied thermal paste, so you don't need to worry about that and be sure not to smudge it. So now we're gonna be lining up the four points of the cooler with the four points on the motherboard. So now I'm gonna push down on opposite ends at the same time. So first these are gonna click in, cool. And now these are gonna click in, done. So now we need to connect the fan to the motherboard. It's gonna be labeled CPU fan on our board. And I'm gonna tuck in the cable right there. So for the installation of our RAM, we're gonna put our two sticks in opposite slots on our board. So we're gonna pull back the levers for the second and the fourth slot. This is so our RAM runs in dual channel. Our RAM only goes in one way, so make sure you line it up correctly. Once I get it into place, I'm gonna push down with equal force with both of my thumbs. You'll hear it clip in and both of the levers will rise back up. We're gonna do the same for the second stick. Push down with equal force. Done. For the installation of our M.2 SSD, it's gonna go into here. So let's unscrew this. Let's remove this. So let's put our M.2 into here. And if we take a look at the shield, we wanna make sure we remove the protective film. Now we're gonna push our M.2 down and we're gonna put the cover on top and re-secure it. So I got rid of both panels from our case. Oh, when we get our motherboard inside the case, we wanna make sure that first, the motherboard standoffs are lined up correctly for our motherboard. So right now, these already come in the ATX form factor layout. Three on top, three in the middle, and three on the bottom. So we're good to go. Let's just put our motherboard in here. So we're gonna line up the ports of our motherboard first, right here in the back of the case. So let's get that in there at an angle. There you go, it's lined up correctly. And now I'm gonna lay down the motherboard. So now we wanna make sure we line up this middle standoff. So let's lift the board up a little bit. There you go, now it's in there. Now we're gonna secure our board with five screws. The middle standoff doesn't require a screw. The screws come with the case and they're located in this box right here. I'm doing it like this so you guys can see it better, but the easy way is just lay the case down. I'm gonna be using the 632 screw flap. So we're gonna have one, two, three screws on the top, one, two, 
two screws in the middle, and then one, two, three screws on the bottom. It's time to get our power supply in there now. We're gonna have to connect the cables we need to the power supply, which is cool, because that means less cable clutter. We're only gonna connect what we need. First, we're gonna connect our big 24 pin power cable labeled MB. For our CPU power cable, we're gonna connect the end that's together, not the split one, right here. This is our VGA cable. It's gonna power our graphics card. Again, the side that's together, not the split. That's gonna go down here. So we're only gonna be using three cables for this build. This next step is completely optional. I'm only gonna do it because it's gonna elevate the looks of our build. Power supply extension cables. I'm gonna be using one for the 24 pin and one for our graphics card. I'm gonna link these cables in the video's description if you guys wanna pick some up. So now this is gonna to connect to the motherboard. If we weren't using this, then this would connect to the motherboard. So we're gonna slide our power supply into here. We wanna make sure the fan of the power supply is facing down. The screws came with the power supply. We're gonna get all four points. All right, our power supply's in, guys. All right, now let's get our cables connected. We're gonna run through all our cables like nothing, guys. Three sets of cables. First, all the case cables, which connect the ports of the case to the motherboard. Second, our power supply cables, they power things. And then the third set of cables is the two fans that come with the case. First, our power supply cables. For our big 24 pin power cable, we wanna make sure that the clip of it clips in back here. So we're gonna line it up and then we're gonna push it in. Make sure you plug it all the way in, guys. So next, we're gonna plug in our CPU power cable. That goes up here. Same thing, guys. We want this to be together, of course, and we wanna make sure that these clips clip up here. Here is our finished product. It looks great. So now the last cable's for our graphics card, but we haven't installed that yet, so we're gonna save this for later. Case cable time, guys. Oh yeah, baby. First, our HD audio cable plugs in all the way on the left, and it only goes in one way. So with the HD audio text facing up, next we're gonna connect the two fans of the case. So there's one right here and then there's one included right there. Those are gonna plug in right down here, here and here. They only go in one way. So in goes one sucker and in goes the second mother sucker. Oh yeah, baby, we're moving really quickly here. All right guys, next is our JFP1 cable. It's labeled F panel and it connects right here. It's labeled JFP1. This cable only goes in one way. We're gonna connect it with the F panel text facing up. Oh yeah, baby. All right, homies, we're gonna move it up a bit now. So our USB 3.0 cable is gonna hook up right here. And if we take a look at it, see how it rises up a bit right here? We wanna make sure we line that up correctly. And that's gonna be lined up over here on the left side. It's lined up nice and straight. And I'm gonna push it in. There we go, it looks good. Next, USB Type-C. This guy also only goes in one way and we're gonna connect it right here. Nice. And we're done. We connected all the cables, except the graphics card. But that was so quick, guys. That was so quick, so efficient. Graphics card time. Now, this graphics card is cute. It's very powerful. Allow me to present to you our Grumpy Bear 3060. So yeah, guys, I took it apart and I spray painted it. And here it is in all its glory. Cute little rainbow with two clouds. And here's our wisdom. Anything oh. is possible, guys. The words that I live my life by. That's beautiful, man. Right here, we have two HDMI ports, two display ports. It's all you ever need. It's gonna go right here into our PCI Express. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna unscrew two of the brackets. The second one and the third one. We also gotta unscrew this thing right here. Push it back like that. First, we wanna push back this like that. So now we're gonna line up our card with the slot. There we go. And then we're gonna push in and you'll hear a clip and the lever will rise back up. And now we're gonna secure it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay guys, so we're powering the card with an eight pin cable and it's gonna just clip in. Boom, look at that. All right, here he is. What? That looks good. That looks, wow, that looks really, that's really good actually. We're gonna throw some RGB LED strips up in there so that it doesn't really bring it out with the beautiful lights, the beautiful colors. Check off your lipstick for bass. Here we go guys, first boot up. Let's turn off the lights. It's plugged in and yo, look how good it looks. Got a little grumpy bear right there, man. Straight pimp. This looks clean. That looks beautiful, guys. Cut the wisdom. Keep your head up, guys. Do your best. This is a cute build, guys. I like it. You can't not like this build. Look at it. Look at it. It's one of my favorite builds. If you haven't turned on bell notifications for the channel yet, be sure to do so so you can be alerted for the future build, guys, that drop. And also, lots of future projects are gonna drop here on the channel too, so you don't wanna miss it. 
All right, guys, we need to cover four things. First, we're gonna install Windows 10 from a USB flash drive. Second, we're going to install our drivers for our graphics card and our motherboard. Third, we're gonna install a game. And then fourth, we're gonna make sure our RAM is running at its rated speeds because we wanna get our money's worth by default, it's not. Okay, so a USB flash drive with Windows 10 on it. I made a video on how to create one of these for free. It's linked in the video description or you can just buy one of these USB flash drives from Best Buy with Windows 10 already on it. So I plugged it into my system and I turned it on. Install now. Windows 10 Pro, I'm gonna select custom. If we had more SSD drives hooked up or hard drives, they would pop up here. We only have one, so we know where we're installing Windows 10 right here. Next. So right now it's copying all the Windows 10 files to the SSD and then the computer's gonna restart. After the computer restarts, we're gonna get to this screen and now we can unhook our USB flash drive. All the files have been copied over to our SSD. Now we need to download our motherboard drivers and then install them. So we're on the website of the board. This will be linked in the video description. I'm gonna select Windows 1064. So I'm gonna go to LAN drivers, download the Intel network drivers, and this one as well. Now I'm gonna go to onboard audio drivers and download this one. Those are the only drivers I'm gonna be installing. We're gonna bring these files to the desktop. Okay, so we can't install them because these folders are zip. We gotta unzip them. So right click, extract all, extract. Do the same for the other ones. So now we can delete the zipped ones, and here they are. We're going to install them one by one. Okay, all drivers installed. We can delete this now. If you want to change the lighting inside the case, we're going to have to go to Utility, and we're going to have to install MSI Center. And with this program, we can then change the lights inside our build because I connected two RGB light strips. Now our graphics card drivers. Every website we're visiting right now is going to be linked in the video description. So let's download this program. In our downloads folder, we're going to open it up. So the GeForce Experience is going to install all the graphics card drivers we need. And it's also a program that you can use to live stream and record your gameplay from. So we're going to go to Drivers, Download, Express Installation. Yes. All right, cool, our graphics card drivers are installed. Now we're gonna install a game using one of the many clients on PC. We're gonna be using Steam for the example. Yes. So let's install Destiny 2. All right, downloading Destiny 2. Last thing now, make sure our RAM is running at its rated speed. So let's go ahead and restart the computer. So as the computer's restarting, we're gonna keep clicking delete on our keyboard. And there we go, we booted into our system BIOS. Now we're gonna head over to memory. And as you can see, our RAM right now is only running at 2100 megahertz when our kit is rated for 3600 megahertz. So we're losing out on performance. We wanna set this to 3600 megahertz, here we go. So we're gonna click XMP profile one, boom. And as you can see right here, XMP profile one, 3600 megahertz. Now we can head up here to the X, save configuration and exit, yes. And if you want to confirm and make sure, control or delete, task manager, performance, memory. As you can see, it's running at 3600 megahertz. So we're good to go. But yeah, that's it, guys. Congratulations if you're following along. The system is ready to go. As soon as our first game's done downloading, we're going to frag it out. Here we go. The Rainbow Six Siege running the game at 90 FOV, 16 by 10 aspect ratio. And here are the graphics. Oh no, he's on the right. <laughs> Don't anybody want a Coca Cola? Anyone want a. Uh, wait, what's this? I want a cock. This is cock. You want a what? You want a cock. <laughs> what? I want to suck your cock. In five seconds. Near the lower bathroom place. Oh, nice call outs, Timmy. Alright, guys, follow Timmy. Please go. Timmy, come on, man. Someone's got to take the leadership role. Nice shot. Nice one, Timmy. Nice one. No, we lost Timmy. You got this. I know I got this, Timmy. You ain't got to tell me. Watch. I'm about to put the team on my back. Ready? Ah, I blew it. It's I man don't worry. What's the game plan to me? Uh you say no more to me. Epico. <laughs> Epico. <laughs> Rip the castle. There you go. Nice. Nice, Timmy. I never doubted you for a second. Uh, uh, uh. So for us, we have our FOV at 90. The resolution is at 1080p. Here are the graphics. Quality at 6. And NVIDIA Reflex is on on plus boost. Ah! Oh my goodness. Ah! <laughs> I stole his AFK kill on bottom. 
Oh no, we're sandwiched. Oh, <laughs> got him. Oh, thank you, street guys. I'll open the door now. Wow, wow, open the door. Open the door. You don't want a piece of this. You don't want this. Oh, got him. Oh, got him. Double kill. So for COD Warzone, 1080p, 100% resolution scale. We have NVIDIA Reflex on our Enable Plus Boost. For our quality settings, FOV is at 120. Here are the rest of the settings. And NVIDIA DLSS is set to quality. Oh. Hi. Hello. I need help. I need help in this and building. Oh, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> There's two guys here with us. Two guys on top. One more, one more. Oh, I mean, I mean, he's lit, he's lit. Oh, you're gonna buy, you're gonna buy me back? I'm bagel. Oh, shit. Clutch. Let's do this. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. This is a crazy match. You guys got this. Oh, they're still alive. They're still alive. Ooh. Nice. Good job, guys. Yo. Good job. Ooh. That match was epic, guys. It's like nonstop action starts to finish. For Apex Legends, FOB is at 110. NVIDIA Reflex enabled plus boost. And here are the rest of our settings. Oh, oh sh. There you go, buddies. I need my full health. Oh my. Alright, let's see what happens when you uh, stick with your team. Jeez. Good job, guys. Fortnite settings. Here they are. And we're turning on DLSS to quality, reflex low latency, on plus boost. Ain't got nothing on the cheek. Oh, oh, these are all players. They're all about to go down. Two. Three. Oh. Target acquired. Oh. <laughs> he shot someone in midair. That was cool. Can't hear. No. All right, that's it. That's it. That's enough Fortnite. I'm out of here. That's a wrap, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. <laughs>